Mali Cecere for ESA Web TV, and welcome to the special edition of Earth from Space. The Sentinel-2 mission for Europe's Copernicus program has been delivering data to users worldwide for two years now. Initially designed for agricultural and forestry practices, Sentinel-2 has proven to be extremely successful in many other applications. Let's take a look. Following the Sentinel-1A radar satellite launched in 2014, Sentinel-2A was the second satellite for Europe's Environmental Monitoring Copernicus program. It was launched in 2015 on a Vega rocket from Europe's spaceport near Kourou in French Guiana. The mission is based on a constellation of two identical satellites, each carrying a high-resolution multispectral instrument. The combination of high-resolution, novel spectral capabilities, a field of vision covering 290 kilometers and frequent revisit times is providing unprecedented views of Earth. Information from this mission is helping to improve agricultural practices, monitor the world's forests, detect pollution in lakes and coastal waters, and contribute to disaster mapping. In March 2017, Sentinel-2A was joined by its twin Sentinel-2B. Having two satellites in orbit means that Earth can be imaged more quickly, so that changes in the health and growth of vegetation can be monitored better. Information from the mission can be used to distinguish between different crop types. It delivers timely data on numerous plant parameters, such as leaf area index and chlorophyll content, which are essential for precision farming. This can help with issues such as food security and therefore benefit society. Frequent coverage is also key to monitoring disasters such as floods, volcanic eruptions and landslides, so the mission plays an important role in times of crises. Sentinel-2 can also be used to manage natural resources to check rates of deforestation, reforestation and areas affected by wildfires. Usually associated with ice and snow, Greenland fell victim to a large wildfire that raged for weeks. It was imaged by the Sentinel-2A satellite on August 8, 2017. The animation was produced using different combinations of multispectral instruments' 13 wavelength bands. It shows the fire in natural color, highlighting the flames of the burnt areas. Sentinel-2 data were also used to estimate the damage in the recent Northern California wildfires. The satellite's instrument improves the monitoring of coastal waters. With this finer resolution data now available, scientists can properly analyze the water within two kilometers of the coast. For instance, Sentinel-2A recently captured an algal bloom very close to the Belgian coast. The algal species was most certainly not toxic, but it created foam on the beaches, which is a nuisance for fishermen as it makes their nets sticky and difficult to manage. The Sentinel-2 mission is the result of close collaboration between ESA, the European Commission, industry, service providers and data users. Designed and built by a consortium of around 60 companies led by Airbus Defence and Space, it is supported by the French space agency CNES to optimize image quality and by the German aerospace center DLR to improve data recovery using optical communications. With its multispectral instrument and wide swath coverage, the Sentinel-2 mission not only offers continuity, but also expands the US Landsat and French SPOT missions. In just two years of providing data to users, Sentinel-2 has improved environmental monitoring in many areas, leaving no doubt that it will continue to accomplish much more in the years to come.